Good morning, candidates. Welcome to Test the Wangan Assessment Center. I am Jamaica Bunha, your accredited assessor for bread and pastry production and C2. Before we proceed to the assessment proper, I would like to welcome the presence of Mr. Alden Richards. He is a TESDA representative. You don't have to worry about his presence because he will not be going to assess you. He is here to oversee if my conduct of assessment is prescribed methodology and standard set by assessment and certification of TESDA. Okay, so I will check first your attendance. Um, Mr. Lim. Mr. Chan. Mr. Tan, Ms. Ferb, Ms. Pinyes. Okay, very good. Okay, so please submit your admission slip. Thank you. So here is your assessment guide that is indication that you can perform the entire task in qualification for BPP and C2. Today, I will administer the assessment to check the level of your competency enumerated in qualification for bread and pastry production and C2 qualification. Bread and pastry production and C2 consists of five core competencies. First, prepare and present bakery products. Second, prepare and present pastry products. Third, prepare and present gatu torts and cakes. Fourth, prepare and present petit foie. Fifth, prepare desserts. So you will be performing the following. Okay, the first one is soft roll. The second one is the mirang pie or boat tart. The third one is the Swiss roll with buttercream frosting. And the fourth one is cream puff. Okay, so the methods that I am going to use for this assessment are demonstration and oral questioning. The result of your assessment could be competent and not yet competent. This type of assessment is for National Certificate NC2. If the result of your assessment is not yet competent, you will only take which competency you are rated as NYC or not yet competent. And what you need is to practice and review your module. If you are confident enough, you need to apply for reassessment at Assessment Center. If you can't understand the instruction, don't hesitate to ask me because I am very much willing to help you or I will translate the item in our vernacular which you could understand. So this assessment is confidential. I, you, and the personnel inside this assessment area are kept the result confidential. If you are not conforming with the result of your assessment, you are free to write an appeal to the provincial office address to the provincial director. If you need personal necessity, our CR is located beside a computer room and if you need to buy your food, our canteen is located at the ground. Before you will start, I will give some do's and don'ts during the assessment. First is to practice safety at all times. Second is to use PPE or personal protective equipment. Third is to avoid using cell phones. Fourth is don't eat inside the assessment area. And fifth, don't disturb your co-candidates. Before I will distribute your number, please read the specific instructions so that you will be able to know what you're going to do during this assessment. I will distribute you now your numbers. Any questions or clarifications? If none, here is your numbers. For 1 to 10 candidates, number 1 to 10, please proceed to your corresponding table number. And candidate number 1, please proceed to table number 1 and so on. Here are the materials, tools, equipment, and ingredients that you will need in baking. I will give you 8 hours to finish your tasks. Please put your output in the presentation table on your designated number. After your demonstration, I will ask questions related to your demonstration and after that, I will give feedback. While you are performing the task, I will observe you using rating sheet again. Remember, safety first. You may start now. Okay, candidate number one, please proceed to the feedbacking area and the rest, please wait at the waiting area. 
Okay, candidate number one, please sit down. How is your assessment? Since you are done with your demonstration, I will give you first question to know your underpinning knowledge. Okay? So, why do we need to wash and sanitize the tools and materials before baking? Is it necessary to preheat the oven first? Why? Okay, based on my observation in your oral question, you have answered all the questions correctly. Based on your demonstration on four projects, namely soft roll, meringue pie, Swiss roll with buttercream frosting and cream puff, you have a very good output and presentation. So all in all, you are competent. Congratulations! Please sign the rating sheet and the course for the competency assessment result and you may claim your course signed by the assessment center manager at assessment center. And you can claim your national certificate NC2 at Tesla Provincial Office within three working days after this assessment. Bring 100 pesos for certification fee, one passport size ID pictures, and present your CERS or the competency assessment results summary. Again, congratulations. Okay, candidate number two, please sit down. How is your assessment? Okay, since you are done with your demonstration, I will ask you questions related to your demonstration. Why do we need to wash and sanitize the tools and materials before baking? Is it necessary to preheat the oven first? Why? Based on my observation in your oral questions, you have answered all the questions correctly. So you are done now with your demonstration and oral questioning. If you were given a chance to rate yourself 1 to 10, what would it be and why? Based on my observation, you have answered all the oral questions correctly. So the result of your assessment on your soft roll, Swiss roll, and mirang pie, they're all competent. But when it comes to your cream puff, you are not yet competent. So all in all, the result of your assessment is not yet competent. So I suggest you need to practice or review your module. And if you are ready and confident to take the assessment, you have to apply at the assessment center for reassessment. And you will reassess if there is scheduled for the assessment and assessor is available. Please sign the rating sheet and competency assessment results summary. You can claim your competency assessment results summary to the assessment center signed by the assessment center manager. I suggest that you can retake a reassessment on the competency where you are rated as NYC. What you need to do is to study and review well. And if you are ready and confident to take the reassessment, you can apply at the assessment center for reassessment and you will reassess if there's schedule of the assessment and if assessor is available. And please be reminded that you have to bring your CERS for reassessment so that they will know what competency you're going to retake. Again, study and be ready.